Coco is a Coco's got a little eternal notoriety to it. Cause the soundtrack kind of goes hard as well. Inside Out, I, I vaguely remember. I couldn't tell you anything about The Incredibles 3, which I saw in theaters. Sorry, The Incredibles 2. I couldn't tell you anything about Toy Story 4. Man, this is another very tough one. I think the downhill and the wind will cancel out. Famous last words. What abouts? Could have used a little backspin. What else is new? I've let the backspin haters get into my head. This is a par. It's like a, it's an unmakeable shot here. kidding me <laughs> it was an incredible putt how dare you how dare you nice holy cow dude the lobbies are getting insane too nl do cruise ships feel cramped um only when you have to like pass somebody in a hallway Otherwise, they just feel like being in a hotel. Yeah, on the ocean. Or I guess like in a river or something like that. Do you own multiple New Balance shirts or do you just let it get super dirty before you wash it again? There's a third option that normal people would probably default to. No disrespect. I wear it one time, and then I wash it, and dry it, and fold it, and put it away in a chest of drawers. <laughs> you don't necessarily have to do that with your t-shirts, that's up to you, but I would recommend that you do it with your socks, maybe, and your underwear for sure. <clears throat> A dresser? Yeah, I put my clothes away. I like my house to be a little tidy. I get it. You, you're not. You're, you're much busier than I am. You got a lot of things on the go. This is going to be the season you finally reach legend in, in Hearthstone. Me, on the other hand, I got a lot of free time. It's a little lofty. I'll take a rough shot here. I can live with that. Desk audit? Listen. Two bubbly cans from today's stream. But can I tell you something? There's, there's a lesson about desk audits that I have for you, okay? First, let me nail this shot. And here's my lesson about desk audits. I thought it's possible my wife might desk audit me today because she has desk audited me with increasing regularity. That's way too hot. <laughs> so I had a plate from a midnight snack last night and I had a plate from breakfast this morning. So you know what I did? I took them off of my desk where they wouldn't have bothered her at all. Out of sight, out of mind. And I put them in the sink where they're gonna bother both of us. Because now, in order to fill up the hot water heater, we gotta move a bunch of dirty fucking dishes out of the way. So you show me the incentives and I'll show you the behavior. You're going to desk audit me? Okay, now the dirty dishes are going into the sink where they're going to inconvenience both of us. Nice Just wash it when you're at the sink? No, it was like 8.57. There's like no winning. If I watched it then, I would have been live at like 9.05 and then a bunch of people who have been sitting here for 22 minutes would have been like late again. What's your excuse? You work from home. 
And then what would have started as a joke would have actually generated some animosity because I would have said like, yeah, sometimes I'm late, I have a kid. And they would have been like, yeah, well, if I'm late for my job, I would be fired. And then I would say, well, that's why you should be your own boss, dummy. And then they say, well, that's not that. Not everybody's born into the same circumstances. So, And then your joke would have caused an argument, okay? So why don't you just let me do it because it's working out. Who asked? Chip, can I get an I asked, please? Ah, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Watch this. Excuse me, why did you take my power from me? Okay, okay, I'm not mad. I'm not mad, because we made it out of the LB. Why did you take my distance from me? Because I freaking... I lit it up, man. This is not ideal. Betwixt. Backspin on the fairway, good sign. This would be an all-timer. Nice oh, if I just use my driver. It's par five? Par five, thank God. <laughs> Slightly over one piece, no backspin. Apologize to me. Okay, apology accepted. I know what I'm doing. Opinions on the transformer that blew up in my area last night? Jim, was it Optimus Prime? He's my favorite. Has Emil given up or is he just T-posing on us? He was T-posing on us. <laughs> Three sixty no scope. This is a trick shot. I know we've been down this road several times before. Oh, no. We've also been eliminated several times before. We got one more chance. Is there a, a more overused bumper sticker, at least in, in my neck of the woods, than the Decepticons bumper sticker logo? I feel like one in 50 cars has a Decepticon on the back of it. Bro, like, why do you love Transformers that much? It's been ass for, like, 30 years. You know that, right? Like, with no disrespect? Nice shot. Stick figure family. Okay, I, I mean, those are kind of annoying as well. I'll give you that. Betwixt? This does not look very betwixtable. I don't think a spoon goes low enough, man. Maybe it's worth a shot. Or just like go straight up the gut here with like a three-piece spoon. Account for the wind slightly. Two, two and a half-piece spoon? Set up the worst shot of all time for our second shot as well. Wedge me? I mean, you're crazy. I have to spoon it again. I don't want to. I, I have to. Give me a one-piece spoon. This 
There's no backspin on a spoon. Otherwise, if, if that went in, it would have been one of the greatest shots of all time. Instead, we're getting eliminated because we got par, but... I mean, a bogey? <laughs> we were done anyway. We were done anyway. Baby on board? Here's the thing. People think baby on board is a stupid sticker because, like, you don't try to hit anybody's car to begin with. Well, you're normal, for one. But also, secondarily... It's not the baby on board sticker. I don't see it as like, please don't hit my car. I see it more as like, please don't be mad at me for driving perhaps less quickly than you would like to drive. Because I don't want to uh, kill my infant. That's basically the way I look at it. Quit spectating. <laughs> also, it lets everybody else on the road know that I've had intercourse. That is true. Will we make the finals? No, I'm not taking a break. Are you crazy? The stick figure family, though, for sure. I'm like... Especially when it has, like, a hobby or something on it, like... You know, like the dad has is like a, he has a mustache or something like that, and then the mom has like a, a Minnie Mouse ears, and then like one of the kids has a soccer ball, and like another kid has like a a chessboard or something like that, and you're like, I don't need to know this much about you, you know. If anything, I, I would love it if you put that sticker like on your front windshield, because then when you're tailgating me like an inch behind me going 120 kilometers an hour on Highway 99, I could be like, look at this psycho. They're, they're trying to kill me on the road. They must hate their whole family. Just, to, just in general, maybe this... I, I think this is going to be a popular take, but the people it's not popular with are going to feel targeted. I hate all bumper stickers. The ones I hate the least are the ones that it's like, check out all the places I've been in this car. And then I'm like, I wouldn't do it, but sure. It's like a, your car becomes like a living scrapbook. You're like, check it out. I've been, to, I've been to Monument Valley. I've been to Joshua Tree. I've been to Whistler. I've been to the Yukon. Like, okay, that's, that's fine for me. I love this shot. That's, that's called an affirmation. I'm not, I'm not too disappointed with that. But ones that are like, here's my belief system, I'm like, uh, who asked? I'm literally just going to the grocery store. Like the coexist bumper sticker? I'm like, just, I don't know if you are laboring under the psychotic delusion that people without a coexist bumper sticker hate other people. I don't. The coexist is implicit. The burden should be on the haters to put a bumper sticker that's like, fuck you. And many of them choose to do that for whatever reason. I'm not going to speculate on what it could be. I just wish that mental health care was also included in the... Canadian medical system, at least the public aspect of it, but regardless. Ooh. Truck nuts. You're competing against Schmoopy? How could I be comp competing against Schmoopy? No, no Schmoopy, you're Schmoopy. You're sh no, you're Schmoopy. Oh baby, <laughs> who knew? No soup for you. One year, so true. Are truck nuts like corn nuts? Yes, in the sense that they're both bad for your teeth. 
But I, I've never seen a bumper sticker and been like, I love this car. And this is, I, I mean, too many people are on my side right now. So allow me to bring it back the other way. I've also never seen a car wrap that doesn't look like pure garbage. Whew. When we were walking, or not walking, when we were driving back from Washington State, no word of a lie, we were behind a car. It was like their car was anime wrapped with a character from a Hunter Hunter. And then Kate said there was one other anime character on the other side, but I, I didn't recognize them. Without being like an extreme hater, what is wrong with you? <laughs> like, like, why? I just don't get it. Like, I would think it, it's like equally cringy to me as, as if someone like painted Aerosmith on the side of their van or something like that. Like, it's not like one is better than the other. It's like, bro, you, okay, you like a, a manga, like, come on, tell me something more about you or something like that. Don't, don't just be like, this is the media I love to consume. Why don't you put like your Myers-Briggs personality type wrapped in vinyl on the outside of your car? Then I would be like, of course this guy drives like shit. He's an INTJ. He's probably busy worrying about, like, a phone call he has to make later that day. That was not even in the same stadium as where it needed to be. But that one was... Nice That's it. What do you do? I'm like, a, I'm probably an INTJ too. I'm definitely J. That's not even like a contest. And then I is like, intros in, not introspective, introverted. I am an introvert. It's tight lobby. What's N? Neurotic? Yeah, okay, probably. And what, wait, T is the only one that's possibly in question. It's intuitive? T is thinking, P is perceiving. What the hell? No, I am, I'm introverted. Not in the sense that like I can't talk to people. Like I think it's the con that's the conflation. I'm okay at talking to people. I would just prefer to be alone. Thirty-three mile an hour. I mean, thirty-three miles an hour. It's not downhill. I think you can go full send with backspin. But I, I wouldn't say no to a three point nine. In thirty-three mile an hour wind, we take those. It's just astrology for business bros. Dude, wait until you hear about the discount cash flow model. You want to talk about astrology for, uh, for econ.
Bro, it's it's so simple. It's a formula. It's a spreadsheet. You just plug numbers into it and it tells you a price target. Hey, what's this thing down here? Oh, that's the discount value. Oh, what's the discount value? Um, you just basically pick a number that you think like your money's worth to you. Uh, and then it's just kind of, we'll lead us to kings. We'll freaking lead us to kings. Okay, that's probably a little bit oversimplified i'm sure that the discount value changes like the discount rate is probably like in some sense it's like how much is your money worth to you but also at the same time you know with the fed funds rate being higher now and the risk-free rate being i listen loaded baked potato soup so true so true I will have a loaded baked potato soup, please. And uh, I, I, I'm feeling, listen, I was just looking for something light, okay? I recognize, I'm here at the Cheesecake Factory. I don't want anything heavy like a harvest chicken salad. Let me get something light. I'm just gonna have your loaded baked potato soup. And you know what, if I'm still hungry after that, and I probably won't because I'll have five or six buns, but maybe I'll, I could, you know, we could, maybe persuade me to try a little bit of cheesecake. Don't give me a big slice, though. Well, you can't put it back on the... No, it's fine. I just won't eat the whole thing. <sighs> that was good. I think I want a 3.8 nun backspin. Chad Bentley, chip in. Excuse me, Chad Bentley, fuck you. What an insane shot. Nice shot. Well, it's the way we drew it up. Kind of wish I had some backspin on it. Nice on. Anyone else going to the gym for the first time in a while? Dude, I gotta tell you, first off, the Peloton rides were packed today. I'm glad I showed up early. Secondly, I was getting high fives out my whatever, dude. People were giving me, I was in a cool down ride, just panning my stats. People were giving me high fives. I was like, ladies, ladies, <laughs> this is literally nothing. <laughs> we're, talking, we're going like 120 watts, just trying to, you know, burn off some of the lactic acid we built up during the Samyo 45 minute 80s ride. I get that you're pillowing for wine right now, but let's, let's save the high fives for something that's actually complicated. Can you give me a meal plan and a workout plan? Chibli, I lost like six or seven pounds in December. Here's my advice to you. You don't need a workout plan or a meal plan. You just need to buy like a shitload of apples from the grocery store. And then, like, any time you're like, oh, I should eat, like, some chips, just eat an apple instead. I don't know if it's sustainable, but for, like, one month, it, it served me pretty well. And don't make it so complicated, you know? Apples are full of sugar. Okay, what I meant to say is go on keto, suffer for one month, and eventually like relapse and eat a whole family sized bag of dill pickle chips, but still for some reason evangelize keto in every online space. <clears throat> I still think we should try this. I just lost. I can't. I always forget there's a there's a super rough over there. That's pretty much it's it's an incredible throw, no doubt. Just eat less? Bro, I don't think that's sustainable either. I honestly think like I don't think it's necessarily like baked into your psyche. Hold on, give me a second. I am a nutritionist. Do get it twisted. Nice shot. 
recovered? Oh, that's f fucking terrible. <laughs> what is sustainable? Okay, listen, you didn't let me build my, my point, which I'm still deciding whether or not it's a joke. He's the best to ever do it. See, let me put it this way. When did I first start caring about, you know, my eating habits? Probably when I was like 12, and I was like, hey, I think I'm like a little fat. By that point, I had already built such bad habits. 12 years of uh, eating whatever food my parents served me, um, my, and my grandparents, they're operating under ancient delusions that like, Fruit juice is good for you, and like fruit juice that's literally just you know sugar plus absorbic acid in a pan, in a can, uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Eating like half a box of wheat thins every night, but by that point, that stuff is already baked into my brain. Like my ideal meal is essentially like, as an adult, I would be like, honestly, I'd like to have like an appetizer salad, and then maybe like a small portion of meat, and then like. Maybe an espresso for dessert. That's what would make me feel good. But if I'm choosing it myself, I would be like, how about I eat a slices of pepperoni pizza until I say when, right? So for me, I think what has been helpful is not operating on the assumption that, and maybe this is the best thing for you. I'm just giving you one man's anecdotal advice. Anecdotal experience, I should even say. It's not advice. Rather than be like, I'm just going to fight a battle in my mind every day and never snack again. I've accepted, I've, I've let go of the rope and I've allowed myself to fall into the oblivion of accepting that I like to eat a lot of food and then just making sure that the food I eat is good for you instead. Because like, you're going to lose the battle sometime. If you're like, I'm just not going to snack, in like three weeks, you're probably going to be like, you know, you're going to break down once. And once you break down once, you're more likely to break down. Maybe you stick with it forever. I don't know. It's, I think it's naive to be like, I'm just not going to snack, at least for me. But then some people grow up eating like one meal a day. And then when they get older, they're like, I want to gain weight. But it just feels like not normal to be eating like three meals a day. I think it's hard to fight those baked in habits. You gotta like work within the, the bounds of your own psyche. This is huge backspin energy. That was beautiful. Somebody hit the pin. I would be mad. You should not be giving advice on this. Okay, then stop asking. Duh. What do you think a nutritionist is going to tell you? You got, you got two options. A nutritionist is going to be like, here's a healthy meal plan. Hey, I'm not sure if you've heard of this, but eat less food and make it better for you. Here's, here's a list of food that's good for you. Uh, it's... Almost all vegetables, most fruits, and then like uh, two other things, okay? Or you're going to get a crazy one who is like, oh yeah, it's probably because uh, your chakras aren't aligned. Listen, all of this is with the caveat that I'm just like a normal guy. Ooh. If you've got, uh, you know, like a gluten intolerance or like you think that uh, lettuce tastes icky or something like that, you might have to talk to a professional. But I'm like, I'm just literally like the dude that spawns in before you create your character. Like when, they, when, when the NPC says, now take a look at yourself. Notice anything different? Like I'm the guy before you change anything. Which I think makes me uniquely qualified to give advice. It's the steaks you eat that are gonna kill you. It's the Cuban cigars you smoke that are gonna kill you. I just want a, like a tailwind once. So we can try our shortcut again.
It's so makeable. No bunker. No bunker. Bunker! Holy cow, I didn't even come close to compensating enough. I should buy a Hummer. Roll, roll. Still for birdie. It doesn't feel like I deserve a birdie here. Punch it up with the eagle, please! It's all right, we're chilling. Slow and steady gets the S rank. Your opinion is biased because a pound of chicken breast costs $10 in Canada? I actually have no idea. Here's how fucked up food prices are in Canada. I have no idea if $10 for a pound of chicken breast is a lot or a little. I'm going to guess that it's a lot because every time I go into, like, Target, um, every price is, like, 40% lower than I'm used to. I guess, wait, that doesn't make any... Because the American dollar is, like, 35% stronger than... Anyway, listen, I picked a bad number, but it's true. It's a tight lobby. How many chicken breasts? Well, I can't even ask you, because if you're from the U.S., I've seen your chicken breasts. A Canadian chicken breast is like a, it's just like, you know, it could fit in the palm of your hand. An American chicken breast is like four inches tall and cylindrical for some reason. I mean, so are ours. But in Europe, I bet it's different. In parts, in parts, parts of Europe, in parts of Europe, I bet it's different. You ever pick up a chicken breast and it feels like a, a bag of sand? Okay, this is very tough, but watch this. In the ballpark. Dude, but this actually is not that bad to be in the bunker here. I think we need backspin just because we're landing on a hill. Where's my backspin, Tony? Tony Stark. I saw your suit... Tony, I was screaming, run 44. Whatever, it's an acceptable, acceptable par. They got another hole in one? What do you mean? Oh no, you did on your own game. Okay, 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 okay. So I was like, wait a minute, this is a par four. <laughs> My ass is dead. <laughs> NL knows Frank Ocean. I was 22 once. What? This would be a great hole to at least birdie. Didn't you get a hole in one last week? It depends. Do you consider that the spiritual end of the week is uh, on a Tuesday? Yes? Okay, then yes, I did. Okay, this is... This is textbook. We want a 3.8. That's four. It's probably a little too much. Oh, wait, was I spooned? Oh, I thought I was drivered. I am an idiot. Where's the hill apex? If we could land this on a two, we would be in love. What the fuck was that?
Okay, somebody did not nail their chip in. That's a dream come true. Somebody missed their putt. Please don't be comedic timing. <laughs> he died. He died on stream. I'm definitely getting eliminated. I don't think there's any shot. How would you ask for a raise right now without mentioning inflation? Do you work for the White House? Do you, does your boss think inflation doesn't exist? I don't even know what that joke's supposed to mean, to be honest with you, but... But you can always clown on those bozos in DC, right? Plus two, plus two. Please. Hello, Sin Victor. Hello. Oh, that's like all of our forward progress. We did not make the finals. Did you get a raise that exceeded expectations this year? No. In fact, in June, I think I get like, I don't know, like a 25% pay cut or something like that. But that's okay with me. I've been kind of phoning it in for a while regardless. Can't really be mad at my boss for giving me an honest performance evaluation. I respect it. Real recognizes real. Jeffy B? I, when are you guys going to learn? Jeff Bezos is retired as the CEO of Amazon. He's, he's still on the board. Andy Jassy is the CEO of Amazon. A lot of people don't respect Andy Jassy because Amazon's down 57% year over year. I was going to say year to date, then I realized year to date's only been two days in the market. One day is not even... But anyway, the point is, you'll be, you might wish that Andy Jassy was running it when Amazon board of directors push out Andy Jassy and then Jeff Bezos comes back and rules with an iron fist. Out, am I? Oh, backspin me. Oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> I needed 30 mile an hour win, not 17. That's compared to their cycle year. Compared to 2019, they're probably plus 40%. Well, did you buy it? You compare it to when you bought that shit. You buy a can of Coke for 75 cents. You might be pleased, but you don't go, hey, you know, it was five cents in the 1930s. I don't live in the 1930s. What is this nightmare that I'm living in? <clears throat> That's bad. Is that the rustle of trees or the mic gain? That is what's known as a vacuum cleaner. After you finish watching your shirt, washing your shirt, I should say, after every wear, at least a cotton t-shirt, you may want to pick up something called a vacuum cleaner. It sucks up dust, dirt, and other dry messes that will fall on the ground. I know the next logical question is what about wet messes? Let's worry about that 
after we finish the introductory lecture here. Do you have a Roomba? We did once, and uh, I think we... I don't know what happened to our Roomba, but I also don't care because it sucked. And I know that's like a pun, but actually I just think, at least at the time, it was not a good product. This was, of course, 1974. I really, we were so close to making it around that tree. That's perfect. That's perfect. Ooh, okay. Beautiful. I still think we're possibly going to get eliminated, but anyway, my main problem with the Roomba is that like, if you, I think if you work from home, but you have a job where you don't need to use your microphone that much, it's uh, totally fine. But if you have a job where you need to use your microphone, you'll very quickly realize that instead of two hours of hearing, you would rather just do it in like, you know, 30 minutes yourself. Nice approach, Hank. Also, we have stairs, so I think the Roomba would uh, kill itself. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The miracle? Ooh! <laughs> Nobody's eliminated. Please watch video. Roomba falls downstairs. Okay, I'll, I'll line that one up for after the stream. Watching Red Trail? Where is it? Where's the Red Trail? Okay. 3.8 with backspin. It's my favorite shot. Touch heavy. Bunker me. The Roomba video is not that funny, don't worry. You underestimate um, how much entertainment I can get out of a video of something falling down the stairs. Doesn't have to be a person. You are, I should have backspinned. You ever seen the video of uh, Asimo trying to walk down the stairs at that tech convention and then his leg snaps in half and he falls over? As a robot. Nice pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Whew. Ever seen Justin Trudeau fall down the stairs party trick? I have. I have seen Justin Trudeau get pushed down the stairs.
and ravioli on him. With none backspin left beef, this could be closer than you think it could be. Nice shot. I deserve that. Oops. That's karma for talking that mess about the robot? Okay, well then this is karma for me reading your comment. Come on. <laughs> hey, Woods. Nobody gets me. Nobody gets me in my own chat. Look at this putt. You're on the moon. Zach, you're on the moon. I can't win. I cannot compete with this person. <laughs> That's, there is no chance. But, Ooh, yes! <laughs> oh, we did make the finals. Will we win the finals? See, Chip, you don't need the speed run to get all the drama. Look at this. This is what it's all about. I mean, you're not, you're not threading the needle on this one. That's asking for trouble, unfortunately. Nice I think this, this course looks a little easy, I, which I, I know it's right for comedic timing, but everybody's going to have very consistent shots here. What we need is basically a miracle. We need to chip this into the hole. If we chip it into the hole, we win. If we don't, we probably lose. And it, when in doubt, we go 3.8 backspin. It's the, it's the best shot in the game. Still a good approach. Could be better, apparently. He did the exact same shit. You think you copy me, you stream sniper? Well, we did what we could. We, need, we don't control our own destiny anymore. Zach has sunk it, which means Zach will win, but that was still a pretty good performance, honestly. We might pass Hank, and if we pass Hank, we'll get more ranking points. We're trying to get to, we're trying to get to S rank. I'll take what I can get. Zach got par? Zach got par? Are you sure? No, he got birdie. You you baited me, you you bait lord. You really just go in, you get that you get your jollies, getting the old man's hopes up and then taking them up. He got par! I am the best! 
Oh, baby. I didn't think it could happen. With a bogey, no less. Ooh, I think we're up on the day at least. Oh my god, this is like an 8x. No, I think we're, we're done for now. Slash mark.